All right, welcome to Faithology. I am your teacher and host, Mark Nathaniel Skelton. And the purpose of this series is to offer an apologetic and evidence-based approach for historical Christianity. In this particular recording, we will be taking a brief look at the authenticity of the New Testament writings. Authenticity referring to the credibility, trustworthiness, and accuracy of the New Testament records. The reason this is important to consider is that the documents within the canonized New Testament presents the historical person, Jesus of Nazareth, as fulfilling the prophecies of the Old Testament and therefore making him the Christ, the son of the living God. This is a pretty big deal. So consequently, the question that needs to be asked is, how reliable are the manuscript copies that we have of the original text? Let me begin by stating that there is more tangible proof and accurate manuscript evidence for the New Testament than any other book from the ancient world, bar none, hands down. This is an accomplished fact without debate. I mean, this idea that the Bible is aimlessly mistranslated and highly corrupted is simply from the spirit of error, period. And I encourage you to just do your research. So I wanted to give you a couple of examples of these manuscripts to pique your interest and to help support the Bible. Uh, there's no secret. That's, that's the agenda here now. Let me give you a few examples of the manuscripts of the New Testament, when they're dated, where they're currently located. So probably the oldest is the John Ryland's fragment, P52, P standing for papyrus, is dated to have been written originally between 117 and 138 AD. Once again, these are copies of the New Testament. It contains five verses from the Gospel of John. The verses are John 18, verses 31 through 33, and verses 37 through 38. It's currently housed in the John Rylands Library in Manchester, England. The next one is Codex Alexandrius. This is a 5th century manuscript that is a complete volume of the Bible that is held in the National Library of the British Museum. Another one is the Codex Sinaiticus. Um, this manuscript is from about 340 AD, the 4th century. It contains the whole New Testament and the Old Testament. It was discovered in a monastery in 1844 and is now in the collection in the University Library in Leipzig, Germany. And lastly, the Codex Vaticanus, which is also dated as being copied from the fourth century. It was discovered in 1475 however and still remains where it was originally cataloged in the vatican library not to mention the codexes and codexes simply meaning ancient manuscripts in book form and early greek manuscripts that trail through the fifth century the sixth century the seventh century and so on and so on and so forth i mean this information is out there these manuscripts are held in world-renowned locations i mean what more can i say one source states that there are close to, listen to this, over 5,800 Greek manuscripts of the New Testament. Let's get real. I mean, if this message was not legit or if this is some fantasy, then, you know, I mean, why would there be so many copies? Why would people be copying this message? I mean, let me put this in perspective. We all know about Caesar, right? One source states the earliest copy of Caesar is 900 AD. And there are only 10 copies made of that. The only ancient text that comes close, and I say that very reserved, is the author of Homer. We all, we all are familiar with Homer, which was said to be written in the 9th century BC, so about 900, 800 years before Christ came on the scene. And there are about 643 copies to date. Now, compared to the New Testament, written originally in the first century AD, earliest copy we have that's been discovered is from the second century, and there are over 5,800 copies. Uh, let's play Big Bank versus Little Bank. I think I'm going to go with the New Testament. But, you know, nobody questions information on Caesar or Homer. <laughs> okay, 
like I said, like, like, let's get real. I want to give you as a listener, an idea of the mountain, the plethora of evidence that supports the reliability of the historical Christian faith so that you can build more trust in the integrity of the New Testament message, as well as the authenticity of the New Testament writings. Trust in the message of Jesus Christ and simply realize, hey, this is this was the best way the message could be passed along. I mean, let's get logical. Like, what is the alternative? Ancient people didn't have like internet and photos. So the only thing they could do this is the way that it's been done and it's apparent today. So I hope this short talk was helpful and uh, be sure to tune in next time on Faithology with Mark Nathaniel Skelton and God bless.